are you? I'll take that. Thank you very much. Well, stop that. What are you doing? Come back. Oh. Going backwards, Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Blocks Series 1 Mystery Packs. How very exciting to see the modern Ninja Turtle universe in Mega Bloks form. On the back of the package, you can see the eight figures represented. Of course, four turtles, a red shredder, a Foot Clan member, a Krang soldier, and that mystery figure. Hmm, I wonder if it's Splinter. I don't know. Like always with Mega Bloks, look for the imprinted code on the side of the package. That will give you a chance at picking up all eight. The code can change from time to time, so be careful, but it's a good start to getting something different. Let's begin with package A06. A lowly foot soldier. Oh darn, this thing goes inside the waist. Hang on. And there would be our lowly foot soldier. Not bad to start off with. You always gotta have one of these guys to beat up, right? I like the arms, they, <laughs> they look kinda like noodles. But you've got a lot of rotation points here. Definitely some shoulder movement, rotation here, elbow rotation. I like that. Uh, we've got hip rotation, knees. Uh, a lot of things you can put these guys in. Full 360 head rotation and a nice little displayed stand as well. So, a good start for the Ninja Turtles Mega Blocks. This bag was coded A24. I see a Donny. And there we have Donny. This figure has a thing for April. He's holding a little card or photo of her, and we've got his heart beating on his front shell there. Uh, bow staff, pretty good articulation again, about the same. Uh, shoulders, uh, rotation. I don't see any elbow rotation on him though. Uh, the hands rotate though. 360 head rotation on the heads most likely, but watch out, the, the masks do fall off kind of easily. They look kind of silly without their masks. Pop that back on. And as for legs, we've got, you know, hips and knees. Not a bad turtle. I love how big the shell is. It's really huge. And the rubber uh, weapon holder uh, belt was pretty fun too. It is really snug and really strong, so makes for a really cool toy. That would be Donnie. Now for the package coded A25, probably another turtle. I'm feeling a pretty large. Uh, section in there. It looks like Leo. And Leo out and built. Kind of funny, Leo's mask has holes in it so you can see his eyes on the figure whereas Donatello, they are going for more of the anime feel with his eyes painted widely on his bandana, so a little difference there. Uh, other than that, the main turtle body is about the same. This time I tried to put on the belt before I put on the legs and it felt about the same in difficulty, so kind of watch out there. He comes with two katana swords and a little uh, magazine of his favorite Star Trek ripoff show. Always funny to watch that, so that is Leo. Looks pretty good. Moving on to the package coded A26.
Actually, is that Mikey? Oh, it's Raph, but Mikey has, has vandalized him. Oh, I love it. Okay, so. And there we have Raph steaming mad with the uh, can of orange paint, spray paint found with Mikey written on the back of his shell. Uh, this really indicates what possible uh, millions of different turtles we could possibly get out of Mega Bloks in the future uh, if they pick out specific elements of the show and things like that. That'll be really cool. Like the SpongeBob characters before, uh, we could probably possibly see many different turtles out there. Nice going, Raph, and calm down. Moving on to the package that is coded A29. And this time we have Mikey for sure. And we have Pizza Face Mikey. What a silly version of Mikey to look at. Uh, surprise, surprise, Mikey being silly, holding a piece of pizza with pizza all over his front shell, goofy smile and eyes. He also has a great nunchuck weapon with the actual chain on there. Only one of them, unfortunately, but I imagine if you can get another set with Mikey, then you'll have two. Looks good though, I really like the uh, comedy level of this figure. This package is coded A11. Aha, this may be different. We have another foot soldier, but with some extra weaponry. So this might be one of those mechanical foot soldiers with the extra arms. Oh, how cool. And an easy uh, update to one of the figures. Okay, wow, this guy is pretty cool. Yes, it would be nice to have April or Casey Jones or Splinter or another uh, original character piece instead of an extra armed up foot soldier, but with all these extra weapons, I think I'll let that pass. This guy is really exciting. I really like the four weapons they gave him. Chainsaw, mace, axe, pretty lethal and will be really fun to uh, fight your turtles with. So that is your secret rare figure, A11. The final package I was able to obtain was A30. Uh, so it could either be a red shredder, a krang, or a mystery uh, possibility. Or it could be a uh, repeat with a different code. Aha, red shredder. Not bad. And there we go, a red transparent shredder. Trying to remember why he's uh, this way. Is this just a hologram or uh, was there some episode where he's burning in fire? I can't remember, there's so many of them. So many great episodes to choose from. So if you recognize where this figure would be represented, let me know in the comments. But a terrific large shredder figure. I'd like to see him uh, in a regular painted form. I think that would be truly awesome. Overall, Series 1 looks pretty fun. It looks like Shredder is ultra rare, so I lucked out on that one. And Krang is actually common, so it's kind of funny I didn't see him on the shelves. This was a great start for a hopefully long series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Bloks Mystery Packs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mega Blocks are appearing on shelves January 2016. Looks like a great series to get into. It's definitely worth your time to pick up a few packs and see what's inside. I think my favorites are Pizza Mess Mikey and Enraged Raphael. That's what I have to say about that. Thanks for watching, Mikey. Oh, come on. Mikey? It's Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. I hope you got enough to share with us. Well, uh, okay. Come on now. Do your thing. Alright, how about that? Four pieces. It looks like he 
Mickey sliced the pizza up into four different Lego pieces, but that's okay, let's eat.